Hey guys, Joe here with Steel Ops. Uh, it is August 12th and we are going to do a quick fragmentation control test on a uh, XP plate uh, that we have loaded up down there in a Century carrier. Um, we are going to be taking eight shots of 55 grain lead core 223. Count them eight, it's going in the mag. Okay, we're going to be shooting that out of a 20 inch barrel. Um, if you guys want to go on ahead and scale that uh, with the magazine. Muzzle of my gun, guys, is going to be at 10 feet from the plate. Okay, we'll take you guys down there. Why don't you take a look? All right. Get you stationed here. Bear with me. I want to get you guys a good camera angle. Okay. So, first things first, we'll check the edges of the carrier. Uh, good there. All good on the top, no tears in the carrier there. Other side, no tears in the carrier there. And the bottom edge, all nice and clean. There's your results. This gray stuff that you can see on the plate, guys, that's what we refer to as gas leak, or it's just basically a little extra um, bit of the lead composite of the round kind of uh, hitting the coating and reacting with the coating. Obviously nothing coming through the carrier itself. There's the back of your plate. No penetrations, I'll kind of hold that up. Dimpled it, definitely dimpled it. Uh, let me, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds there. So yeah, slightly bigger than a fist size group. Not bad performance at all. Coating doing its job. And there you have it guys. Quick. You guys thought I was done. We're not done yet. We're gonna do another test on that same exact plate. We're going to shoot another four rounds of uh, 62 grain steel core 556. Five, going in that. Again, that is out of a 20 inch platform. Same gun. Muzzle of the gun is going to be at 10 feet from the plate. done. Let's put that back in the gun. Now we're done. All right, let's take you down there so you can see what's going on with that. So it's the same exact plate that we just shot. Again, we'll take a look at your edges. That side's good. Top side's good, no tears. Good. Bottom's good. Holy cow, okay. So uh, we can tell that the uh, coating is really, is really fighting to keep that uh, M855 controlled right there. There's actually some pieces of jacket coming to, starting to try to make its way out of the coating right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it did trap it. So working hard, doing its job. Another piece down here, uh, trying to make its way out, but didn't make it. So I don't even know where my hits were at, but we've got now 12 shots on this plate. You've taken 12 rounds, 12 rounds to the chest at 10 feet out of a 20 inch barrel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So 
Yeah. Guys, don't get shot 12 times at 10 feet. Shoot back. Ha, you still thought I was done. Nope, not yet. So you just took 12 rounds to the chest at 10 feet. And uh, you're a fighter though, you're still in there. But in walks that crazy pig hunting Texas guy with a 458 SOCOM. So for those of you that are not familiar with the 458 SOCOM cartridge, this is your standard 62 grain uh, M855. And this is 458 SOCOM. This has uh, what I believe they refer to as a uh, penetrator tip, some kind on there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a solid brass projectile, but I could be wrong. I mean, there might be some lead core in there, but uh, we are gonna be shooting this, going in the back. So 458 operates off the same platform as they are. It's just a different barrel. So this is a 16, or I'm sorry, a 12.5 barrel, 12.5. I'll hold this up so that you guys can scale that. And again, barrel's gonna be 10 feet from the plate. A lot of energy, a lot of energy off that round. Let's go down and take a look. Okay, so your impact was right there. Um, guys, I centered that shot up kind of for safety purposes. I'm at 10 feet, I don't want to die. Anyway, uh, we'll check our edges. I don't know if you can see that smoke still, oh yeah, look, you can see it still coming out of there. Look at that, smoking. All right, so no fragmentation on that side. No, care, no tears in the carrier. No tears on the top of the carrier. No tears on that side. No tears on the, on the bottom. No penetrations on the back side. There's your impact. You'll notice on those larger calibers that you're coating, okay, it's gonna take some of the coating with it. So it's actually leaving a hole in the coating where as you can see on the 223 or 556 calibers, it's actually sealing that hole back up. It was a penetrator round, do you think it penetrated? Nah, come on guys. Look at that. Look at how, a little bit more back face deformation. You might be getting, yeah, you might be getting a half inch there of back face deformation, but you know, there's that, I, I hear this rumor that like steel has really bad blunt force trauma. I don't even know where that started from, guys. You just took, I think that's a 300 grain bullet. 300 grain bullet that you just took to the chest and it had a half inch of back face deformation because it disperses the energy across the, the, the entirety of the plate. So you're still probably having a bad day though. So again, guys, don't get shot. What was that? 13 times at 10 feet. Ha <laughs> ha, two more. Two more, 300 grain, 458 SOCOM. Same gun, 10 feet from the plate, 125. <laughs> Surely you got fragmentation. Surely, right? Bottom edge, still holding good. Side, good. Top. Good. Left side, good. Man, look at this, look at this. Still stuck in the coating. Little jacket sticking its nasty little head out right there. Some more right here. So what we're trying to show here, still smoking. <laughs> what we're trying to show here 
is that yeah, you could absolutely take one of these plates to failure. It's gonna be 15 rounds and I mean, we've got 900 grains of ammo just in 458 plus another 12 rounds of M193 and M855. Now we're done.